Okay, guys, just gather around quickly, please. Good performance out there today. Uh, but we did also make a little bit of history. Um, so please join me in congratulating young Jason Isaac, who has be today become the youngest player in Barla Town's history. Well done, Jason. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain. Welcome to Season 13, Episode 4 of The Impossible Dream with Barla Town. And today we have a league match against Clonelli Town. And then we are playing uh, Napoli in a big, big Champions League game. We're hosting them. And if we can take a win from that one after our heroics in Benfica yesterday, then we really will be in a good situation. And we want revenge after they knock us out of the Europa League last year, of course. Now, as you've just seen, though, the big news since last episode is we have a new club record holder. Um, you can see here, 16 years and 94 days. Jason Isaac is the new youngest ever player. Uh, and he has the best part of, well, a little while to break Damien Allmark's uh, youngest goal scorer. Uh, here, so unfortunately, Damien, I think that record is about to go at some point this this season, um, because Jason Isaac, of course, came in under the Penis Initiative, and he is a very, very talented young 16-year-old. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll see a lot more to come from him, um, but he did come off the bench against Carna Fawn and uh, broke that record. Now, that, of course, brings us to the game against Carna Fawn. Let's have a catch up on what's happened since last episode, starting with that game. Tommy Williamson put us in front. Finds McMire doubled our lead seconds after half time. And it was two goals in a minute when Wade crossed for Fumin. Before Williamson picked out Wade for our fourth. Kind of Fawn pulled two back. But we saw out a comfortable win. So there we go, 4-2 in the end. Honestly, we could have scored 10. We would, it was just that uh, just that dominant. Uh, we made the three changes um, after the first goal, and you can see it did kind of it did kind of uh, flatten the performance, let's say. Um, but it was it's good to get you know two of the youngsters, Evans and Isaac, on the field, and of course. Uh, Owen Curtis Owen, whose transfer value we're trying to kick up again now, so we can sell him for a big for a bigger fee. But um, yeah, there we go. So that was kind of fun. Win in the bag, wonderful stuff. Next up, we played Connors Key. This was the Wags. It was the Welsh League Cup, probably the third or fourth round, whatever it is. Uh, let's go see if we're into the hat for the quarterfinals. We opened the scoring when Sam York and Ab Gareth combined on the break. Griffith McMenemy's cross was spectacularly finished by Damien Allmark for our second. Before Allmark got his second of the game in stoppage time. So we did enough without being outstanding. Up Gareth getting himself on the score sheet and Damien Allmark with a double, which is nice to see, and a uh, Mayor of the Match award as well. Um, you can see there, we deserve to win the game. Um, I was a little bit worried if this one just cost Connors Key, of course, are now also a professional team, but uh, we needn't have worried. We, uh, we got the job done there, and we have lower league opposition, Guildford. Um, where are they? Down there in the quarterfinal. So that should be a game that we, uh, that we can win. A uh, quick look at what all that means for the uh, for the tables, and we are, well, we're not top, but we have four games in hand, and we're only a point behind Afrin Lido, so I'd say we've got things under control in the league. Um, we can see there, Iron Brew Cup, fourth round, we're at home to Dundee, we were home to Gilsford in the uh, quarterfinals of the Welsh League Cup, and of course, it was actually it's top of the table against Napoli today, with both teams having won their first game. Um, which sort of, I mean, further goes to the point that if we can win today, then what a position we are in, what a position we are in. But let's have a look at what we're doing here against Clanelli Town, first of all. Uh, we are the favourites of this one, as you would imagine. They are a Will Volks coached team, 38-year-old uh, Welshman. He's been here for just over a year now, done a decent job. He was at Barry Town before that. Um, they're in a balanced standard playing style, but as we know, most teams tend to come out against us a little bit defensive. Um, we're expecting this sort of a formation. They do have one of our former players up front as well. Um, he, of course, he was well, not of course, but he left us this summer to go to Connelly. So he's had a good start to the year as well, which is brilliant to see uh, that some of our youngsters are going out and getting the job done elsewhere in the league. Um, positional heat map, we can see there very, very much just a little ball of defenders in midfield. Uh, passing network is there. Key passes as well. And this is a team that we're sending out. It is Tanis Kovic in goal. It is Robson. It is Griffith McMenemy, Goddard, and Nostar as the back four. It's Bukley and Gami in midfield. It's Ab Gareth. It's Williamson. It's Davies in behind the great man, the great goal scorer himself, Damian Ormark. Let's get out there. So we can see it maybe a little bit different to being what we expected with the wingbacks. Um, Zach Littlemore, he played for us as well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, he did. There we go. So another one of our youngsters playing elsewhere. Um, but so let's go and have a look here and see what we want to do. Pick up where they left off. Um, 
just keep the run going. Really, I think that's all we need to say. If you're wondering why Tanis Kovic is playing uh, in this one, it's basically because we only have Soltani on loan. Uh, I don't want Tanis Kovic to sort of stop developing. He is still he's still only young. What is he, 23? Still perhaps a little bit of room for him to improve. So I, I don't want to sort of completely freeze him out. We want to make sure Soltani is always, you know, 100% match sharp, ready for Europe. Um, but where we can, I do still want to play Tanis Kovic. Uh, just because, I mean, even if we want to, even if we do look to sell him on, we want to make sure that we're getting that sort of the biggest fee we can. And obviously, he'll get the, a bigger fee if he's playing and playing well in the Welsh league, which you would imagine he would do. Um, to be honest, there's not going to be many games that he's uh, going to concede goals in the Welsh league. Here we go with Tommy Williamson strides into the box. Oh, just past the post. Half an hour gone. Not been our greatest performance, you'd have to say. They're looking a little bit nervous. I don't really know why. No pressure, boys. Come on. We're better than this. Uh, I do wonder if maybe, um, what do we want to do here? Maybe lower the tempo. If they're uh, if they're just sort of sitting in that little defensive ball, if we lower the tempo, just kind of pass it around them, wait for our opening, maybe that'll work for us. Maybe it won't. I'm not happy with that though, boys. Um, one other thing we could look to do is move the wingers to inside forwards, which is something I've discovered recently. Thank you, Citizen Nev. Um, and I've really, really enjoyed playing with uh, the inside forwards, giving the fullbacks space to run into. Um, yeah, so that might be something else we want to consider doing. We'll, we'll give them a chance to prove themselves here, though. Let's give it a demand more and see if, where this takes us. We're not getting the most out of uh, uh, Sean Davis down that left-hand side as of now. No start for Gami. Garmi, decent ball in, headed away. Up Gareth can't quite get to it. Garmi should pick that up again. And let's see where this goes for us now. Infield, Bookley. Up Gareth, back to Garmi. There's a ball forward for Noster. He's not the best getting forward. Can he get across in? Back post. It is Davis, and he does stick it in. There we go. Goalkeeper left flapping at the cross. Kind of waved as it went over his head as much as anything. And then it was a wonderful piece of, uh, of headed attackery. Uh, if that's a word, which I'm almost certain it's not, at the back post for uh, Sean Davis to get his second of the season. And Nostra with the assist as well. Good to see the young Dutchman getting there. Look, what is the goalkeeper doing? And really did just leave an open net for uh, for Sean Davis, and he was unmarked as well. Shocking play, you have to say, by uh, by Connelly Town there, but that's not our problem. Um, all right, it's not particularly working, is it? So let's uh, let's maybe do that. Let's try that first. Um, we're looking nervous and anxious and all those sorts of things. All right, so let's get the youngster on for Damien Ormark. Let's get Wade on for Ap Gareth. And let's get Curtis Owen on for Denny Garmi, who's not having a great game. And that's our three subs done. We'll try demanding a bit, little bit more. But I really don't understand why we're looking so nervous here. There's no need to be nervous, boys. But um, here we go. Wade with a corner. Chips it in. It is. Oh, it's there. And it is Lee Goddard with his second of the season. That should secure the win. Um, you can't see him getting two goals the way they've been playing so far. Let's try giving them some praise and see if that uh, lifts a little bit of confidence. Good header from uh, Lee Goddard, though, wasn't it? He's someone that could be on the chopping block now that he's kind of fallen behind uh, Gurke, sort of for the European team. He's not WAGS qualified. So he's maybe one of these guys now that we just look to look to try and cash in on. But for now, he's still doing a decent job. He can cover it right back as well, which I like. Um, so certainly on the bench in Europe, he's still a useful player to have. But not the most convincing. You can see we absolutely smashed them. Um, I suspect they were just making life very difficult for us there. But we got away with one there, boys. We need to be better. So Butler Town go top of the Premier League. That is five straight wins. Uh, who have we got here? Ben Evans is back to fitness. That's good. He dislocated his shoulder, you may remember, in preseason. I think it was his shoulder, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was a dislocated shoulder. So that's excellent that he's back for us. That helps. Um, and of course, the Damien Ormark goal scoring record, all time youngest goal scorer, survived another game by Jason Isaac. Guys, wait right there. We host Napoli next. This is absolutely huge. Okay, welcome back. Now, hopefully this is a good omen as Chris Venables and the under-19s have destroyed Napoli under-20s 3-0 with a missed penalty there as well. Cameron Banks, the hero with the hat-trick. 
Um, he's a good young player potentially for us and it's fantastic to see him going into Europe and uh, doing a really, really good job. So wonderful stuff by Chris Venables boys uh, and they are now six points from two games and in pole position to qualify from that group with Arsenal, which is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, now, of course, we are here for our game, the seniors against Napoli and shock horror, we are favourites for a game in the Champions League, um, which is surprising against Napoli. Now, some good news potentially could be bad news. Arsenal absolutely destroyed Benfica and they did it with 10 men. Um, so that's a little bit scary, I've got to say, but uh, yeah, I mean, that sort of maybe uh, puts our result against Benfica into a little bit of perspective. Um, they look as though they may be the whipping boys of the group, which is nice. It's not going to be us for once. Uh, well, not that we've been the whipping boys, but you know what I mean. Um, certainly when you see those names, you do fear a little bit for Barla Town. But let's have a look what we're up against here. Now, of course, last time we played Napoli, um, they did beat us, of course, in the Europa League. So we don't want to have a repeat of that. They're a Miguel Herrera coach team. He was their manager when we played them last time. Uh, a good manager, good director of football, he'd probably be as well. Um, but an attacking standards style of play. Now, we are expecting them to come out in a 3-4-3 three, three formation. Um, I've always had a little bit of trouble playing against this, so hopefully I've come up with a decent game plan here for us. We can see they are quite narrow defensively. Um, they did beat uh, Udinese last time out. They're currently sitting fifth in Serie A. Uh, again, early days, but um, you know they're not at the top of that league, which is maybe something. Uh, passing network, we can see there again a little bit narrow, perhaps. Uh, there are their key passes, and this is the team that we're sending out. It's more or less how we went out against Benfica. Uh, so it's Soltani in goal. It's Tony Gurke and Juan Mee as the back three. It's Ballerini. It's Montgomery, uh, the wing backs. It's Brewerton, who was brilliant in Portugal with. Uh, the Armenian and Quinn in front of them. It's Freshy and Big Mac up top. This is big. This is big. It will be a massive three points if we can get it. So they have come out in the 3-4-3. I mean, it could work in our favor. Maybe we can get at them in wide areas. Um, I, sh I considered wingers, but the problem I have with wingers is that if they've got three up top, I really think we want to have the three at the back to make sure we can at least go man for man with them. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure about that. This is the problem I have whenever I play this formation. Um, we should challenge them to pick up their left, uh, prove a point. Now, we are the favourites, so I do think maybe ignore the praise. Um, nobody expects you to get a result. No, we need to ignore the praise, don't we? A lot of credit lately. Go out there, put on a worthy display. I think that's what we need to do. Um, some calm, we have faith. Oh, I hope I got that team talk right. And here we go at the race course ground. Not a very big turnout. Jesus Christ, come on, North Wales. It's the, uh, it's the Champions League group stages here. What do we need to do? We put on a good performance in the first game, and we have three men and their two dogs in the stadium. Unbelievable. Here we go. Early for the Armenian. A free kick. Can we get ahead on the end of this? Oh, we can. It's Gorke. John Gareth. No, Gareth John Gorke. He gets the goal. His first goal of the season. We're 1 0 up. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Let's demand a little bit more. The Armenian whips the ball in. Goalkeeper's in no man's land. And Gurke's there to plant the header home. Seven minutes gone. We're 1-0 up. And as things stand, we are top of the group. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Here we go again. The Armenian. Another good ball in. Brewerton's there. Can't quite get to it. Freshy will retrieve it, though. Can he get across? And he can. Tony's at the back post. And Tony's doubled the lead. We're 2-0 up after 15 minutes. Wonderful stuff. Tony's first goal of the season now as well. Uh, let's tell him to concentrate. We don't want to get too excited here, but two set pieces. We didn't really score, I guess, directly from the set piece on this occasion, but Freshy with the cross in, and Tony completely unmarked. Must have been floating with offside, but got the job done. How close was this? It did look very suspicious. No, he's just taken a step back, and number 18 there has played him on. Good header, wasn't it? Absolute bullet off his head. And two centre-backs have the goals, and now we have Napoli with an attacking throw. Come on, boys. Let's uh, let's not go and get them back into this game. Ball over the top. It's a good one. Oh, and they are back into the game. Soltani can't do anything with it. And everybody just, uh, just calm down a touch. It's 2-1. And Napoli have a goal back. That's frustrating. Really, really frustrating. Barely, what, two minutes after we went 2-0 up, they've got themselves back in that game. Could Soltani have done more? Haven't been completely convinced by him, but I guess it's, you know, it's tough to hold that against him, that particular goal. Come on, boys, come on. Let's give it another demand more. Everybody's not doing too badly, which is, which is fine. Brewerton's looking nervous, which I'd rather he wasn't, if I'm honest. 
Let's try and get creative. Come on, boys. Just relax into this game again. They're trying to play with more creativity as well. And here we go. First half stoppage time. One me with a free kick. Quinn has it. Back to one me. He gets it in for the Armenian. Nice ball around the corner there for Ballerini. Can he get across into the box? He goes short for Brewerton. Brewerton. Oh, it's a lungy tackle, but he gets away with it. Armenian has it. Back to Brewerton. Other way, mate. Other way. One me. That's a good pass for Ballerini. He can't get it under control, though. So unlucky. And oh, well, don't do this. Don't do this, boys. Win it back. Win it back. Ballerini does. Quinn has it. Thomas Quinn. Is he going to get caught in possession? No. He goes over the top looking for Big Mac. It's a long old highlight. It's not really had anything of quality yet. Napoli have it now, though. Oh, dear. Don't do this, boys. Don't do this. We win it with Gurke. The Armenian has it. Can we get them on the break now? The Armenian. Pick your pass, mate. He goes. Oh, that's a stunning goal from the Armenian. Where did that come from? A third of the season. It's 3-1. That is absolutely stunning. What a goal from the Armenian. Gurke with the header. And the Armenian picks it up inside his own half. Strides forward with those long, long Armenian legs. And then the goalkeeper's having a nightmare. He should have stopped that. But the Armenian smashes it in. It's 3-1 to Town. And are we headed to the knockout rounds? We would be six points from two games played if this can keep going. We're not there yet, of course. Assertive boys, um, don't let those performance levels drop. That's stressed out Brewerton. You're doing fine, mate. Just keep going. Uh, the Armenian, mate, you are running the show for us out there. We love to see it. Quinn, don't get yourself sent off, please. And maybe a little bit more from you, please, Big Mac. And let's get back out there. No need to change anything, I don't think. Um, we'll give it a demand more. And we've got another free kick. The Armenian back post. It's there for Big Mac and Big Mac over the bar. That's on your bingo card, I think, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> um, Thomas Quinn's not having his best game. We do have Yamaguchi who could come on and play in midfield for us. Um, which seems like a sensible thing to do, if for no other reason than it gets that booking off the field. Um, now, I'm wondering, can the Armenian play as a Mazella? He can. Yamaguchi is more of a ball player, so I think we'll try that and see if that works for us. I always don't want to change the Armenian from his role because he is doing so well, but um, Yamaguchi is not... He's, he's better He's better just sort of standing there passing the ball. That's what he does. Montgomery. Oh, <laughs> Harry Montgomery in Europe. He is different class, and suddenly we are destroying Napoli. This is what we could have done to them in the Europa League last year. Of course, it was an absolute nightmare when we hosted them in the first leg of that tie. But this time, we have absolutely destroyed them. It is 4-1 to Bala Town. And, well, this is absolutely magnificent. And now Mac Meyer's injured. Well, hopefully, hopefully that's not too serious. Tommy Williamson will come on. So that in itself is not the worst. We have three quality strikers. Um... But I'm a little bit concerned as to exactly what Big Mac's done to himself there. Napoli have the ball. Still 10 minutes to play. It would be a monumental stuff up to not win it from here. But what we don't want is a nervous uh, finish here. That is past the post. I think Soltani just about had that covered. Let's maybe go back off attacking. We don't need, <laughs> we don't need any more goals. They're trying to attack down the wings. We've won that back nicely. Yamaguchi has it to Brewerton. Forward to Freshy, to the Armenian. There's an overlapping run for Ballerini. Oh, and he can't pull it in. All right, boys. Let's well, let's just wait and see what happens from the corner here. The Armenian to take. Decent. It's all oh, over the bar by Gurke. Um, look at those match ratings. Look at those match ratings. What a performance this has been in Europe. Here we go with the Armenian. He deserves a goal. Another one anyway. That is, oh, the Armenian's putting on a display. What a free kick that is. Two absolute stunners by the Armenian. He's fourth of the season, that one. It's 5-1 to Bala Town. That is a stunning free kick. There is no goalkeeper in the world saving that. It's 5-1, I say again. Bala Town defeating Napoli. What a performance. I thought Benfica was great. That is our new best performance in Europe. What a what a game. The Armenian looks suddenly like he's, he's Zavi reincarnated, just bigger and better. Um, well done, boys. Well done. We can be complacent after that. That was superb. Five-star Bala Town triumph. Uh, Big Mac, it's two months or so. The month, if we uh, look after him. 
So that was a little bit of a spatter in the works. Get well soon, Big Mac. And um, yeah, it just is not ideal. But we can just about deal with it, I think. Uh, the, the Armenian, that is one of the best performances I think we've seen. I thought Brewerton was good in the first game. That was superb. Uh, quick update of the finance with that money. Almost $80 million in the bank now. And a quick look at those league tables. And we are top. Two games played. Seven plus seven goal difference. Six points. And... I mean, Napoli beat Arsenal. Is this on? Could we top that group of... It's not really a group of death, but it's a tough group. Guys, that is it for today. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. And if you haven't enjoyed that, then you're watching the wrong series, unfortunately. We'll be back next time to go to Arsenal and whatever game comes before it. There's usually an international break, and usually the Iron Brew game gets postponed in before, the, uh, before the, the, the Champions League. So I suspect we will be back for Dundee in the Iron Brew and Arsenal in the Champions League. If we could take a point in that, then we would we'd almost be out of the group, wouldn't we? Um, so that'll be next time, guys. Until then, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.